Hello, my name is Mercedes Strzowski and this is my shop. We, this is a family uh, business. Uh, we do cakes and we do pastries. I take care of the cakes, my husband takes care of the pastries. So after we put together the cake, we put it in the refrigerator like for 15 or 20 minutes just to let it set a little bit. Then I have the boards already done with a tape and then we're just going to put this cake on top. This is going to be a two-tier cake. This is for a little girl for her third birthday. So we just check that everything is in a good position. We are going to start with, this is just water, and we're going to just put a little bit of water with the brush. Go ahead like this. We cannot miss one piece because maybe later on it will become a bubble. I usually have this, it's a cornstarch little bag that I put, you know, like around. I'm going to work this fondant a little bit and then I'm going to pass it through the shaker, okay? So I just work this a little bit in this shape and then I just flat this. So we are going to pass it through the Heater. and I think this is okay all right so I'll just bring it over there and I'm going to start covering the cake okay so now we are going to it's a little thick so I'm going to stretch it with my rolling pin and I used to have I like to have a little bit of cornstarch under so it will be easy to stretch it so I just go like this. But otherwise you just put it here. And that's it. It's very, very simple. You have to work from top to bottom. And first, this is the first step, just to put them together. Now, when you have a pleat like this, you always bring this up and this, bring it up and go keep working on it. It's very, very simple and it's very dumb. And then after that, I usually go all the way. Turntable is very, very important to have when you are covering your cake. Are you going to have your cake smoother and you're going to go down and up. Down, come this way and this way. Down, come this way and this way. Down, this way. Down. And then, of course, you do it faster. Okay, now we are going to measure, because this is a two-tier cake, we are going to measure the size that we need. So we take a pencil and we just go over here. See? And then we just come this out. And we are going to cut the dowels at this measurement, okay? So these are some discs that I have done of different sizes, and this is a nine inches, so I'm going to put this on top of this just to measure the size, and then we just take a tool, and then we just go around, because the next cake is nine inches. So see, we just make a little sign over there, so when we put the other cake on top, we know exactly where to go, all right? So these are the dowels that they're already cut, this is PVC, but for the water stain. You cannot use the other kind of PVC. This, you cut it and you just put one here. I'm, I'm using five, so one is in the center. And you see over here, it's not exactly like in the level of the cake. I always leave like a little piece in between. So when you go on transportation, the cake don't sink inside the other one. I'm going to cover this next cake that is going to be on top of this. And see, it has the board already. We cover it in foil. All the boards in our bakery, they are all covered in foil. That way, heavy, beauty foil, because that way, the moisture of the cake doesn't go to the cardboard. So the cakes always stay nice and fresh.
So now we are going to put this cake, the pink one, on top of it. See that the dowels are a little bit higher. And the reason I do this is so the cakes, they don't sink inside. So now I'm going to use royal icing. This is just royal icing that I'm going to put around the dowels. And this is like the super glue for cake decorators. See over here? A lot of people, what they do is that they put a very big, you know, shell or something on there that doesn't look like very nice. So this is the way to do it. You're going to pull this up to here, okay? See, up to here. I'm not going to go all the way down. I'm going to make like a little fat thing over here and then I'll go like that. And I will just push the fondant like this. See that little thing over here? And then you just go like this, okay? And that's it. My baby's done. Now we're going to start decorating it. Okay, so now we're going to do the border. I'm going to use white. I make like a big sausage. And then you just push this. Now, satin is fondant is so nice. You can hold it. I mean, this is so easy to handle. Just going to go over here to this machine. It's a little noisy. And just push it through. See how flexible this is? And then this is, you crimp it, this is to see if you want it thinner or you want it a little bit thicker, okay, you will see. So now we, we start in the back, and then we, what we're going to do, we're going to pinch it. Pinching over here all the way so it looks really nice. Sometimes you put a little bit of royal icing around and it looks really pretty. All right. Okay, now you see these straws that I have over here. And the reason why we put the straws is because we don't want any risk. Sometimes there is like, sometimes you have little bubbles in the cake and we discover that just putting the straws, the air can come through the straws and we always cover it with the flour. We always have to check the design first. Always have to check the design to see where we're going to put the straw. So, you know, like just the day before delivering or the same day, you just add, you know, you glue the little decoration that is over there. And it really works because every time we do this, we never have any bubbles anymore. And sometimes the reason why we have these bubbles is because the filling, especially with the strawberry, it's, you know, it tries to go out and, uh, you know, it's, I don't know, it's, and sometimes it's because you don't have the water in the body cream. and. You know, it's, the air tries to make a bubble there. So this is the solution. It's an easy one. So, all right, cut. <laughs>